Alrighty, this video is gonna be so packed with information, I'm gonna try and make it super quick and super to the point. So firstly, we just found out that Wonderland is finally testing what we knew about a long time ago. In fact, I think they were thinking about testing it out in 2019, but then they didn't, so they were gonna do it in 2020 and then COVID happened. But they are doing a New Year's Eve celebration based off of the calendar that Wonderland has released so far. It looks like they're doing 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. on New Year's Eve. Um, which also means that they might be testing out that opening for an extra two weeks into January um, that we had heard about as well. So we'll keep you posted on that. Haven't seen anything yet on that, but there is a chance it could be open for the first two weeks of January. Woo! On top of that, we are not seeing any pre-signs of woodwork on any of the wood coasters at Canada's Wonderland yet, and this is around the time frame that we should be seeing that. So we're not sure if there was maybe a lull in hiring um, those carpenters and they just didn't find anyone, or if there is no woodworking projects. Um, but there is some work going on in the front gate area. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. It could be Winterfest takedown, so I'm not going to speculate on that until another couple of weeks. But there is some signs, and there there were some markers at the end of Winterfest, or any of you that remember my videos um, at the end of last season, there were some markers. If it is something, it is just going to be entertainment related. I think maybe a new stage um, at the front gate area, or it could even be the new cashless machines being installed as well. So there's a lot of that that we could start seeing little things around the park in terms of that. So it's really difficult to see what's going on. Um, there does appear to be different buildings and different projects around the park that I'm starting to notice. Um, so we're gonna keep posted on that. There is a demolition bin now inside Kingswood. Um, so it does look like Kingswood's gonna start demolition sometime soon. Again, there is no rush for that plot of land. Um, and in terms of other things around the park, uh, the park is still working heavily on electrical and a lot of brickwork has been on site for about a month now. So that is obviously for the restaurant area when complete. Um, and there are signs of Dinosaurs Alive potentially starting construction soon, which brings me on to my next subject. Uh, my team and I have done some digging and I want everyone to just understand that from this point on, this is mere pure speculation. So please take it with a grain of salt. There is no concrete information yet. Um, when I do have concrete information, I will present it as concrete information. So I am just putting up a little warning here that this is just Brendan speculation, but I do want to say that there are reasons to believe that this is a, a very good possible case. Um, I do want to say that I do feel that a major attraction is coming to Canada's Wonderland in 2023, and I am seeing signs of that um, and evidence of that. Whether it end up being a Splashworks with Flat Ride Edition or a kid family coaster, um, we are uh, hearing rumblings that there is potentially a pretty decent cut of the budget coming to Canada's Wonderland in 2023, um, which is really exciting. So we're going to keep you guys posted on that. Um, we are also uh, going to be keeping an eye on Wonder Mountain's Guardian um, and on uh, Action Theater. So those are two areas we're going to keep an eye on. But we are hearing that something may have been pushed forward to 2023. So I'm just going to keep my uh, my eyes posted on certain areas in the park that I will inform you guys of a little er uh, closer to opening of Canada's Wonderland. With all that said, <laughs> the main construction project going on inside the park right now is the restaurant. So I'm going to insert a super zoomed in shot right now. And as you can see, the foundation is completely done for the restaurant. And you can tell that the building actually isn't that large um, at the final straw. So I don't know where this 500 plus seating is going to fit in terms of the building. I'm starting to think that when they say 500 plus seating, they mean the outdoor patios as well and the little seating areas around the uh, building as well. I just can't see 500 people. Again, it is really hard to tell size when you're this far away and pretty high up. So it could just be... Um, the whole like mirage of it all. But um, nonetheless, the park is heavily getting ready for opening. For those of you that don't know, Season Pass Holders Preview Night is on April 24th, um, and it's going to be all day, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., which is super exciting. They haven't done that in a while, um, if not at all, but I don't know that, so I'm just going to say I haven't done that in a while. Um, and then the park will be opening April 30th. Um, there is going to be a lot of entertainment options that the park will be announcing soon. Um, and... Uh, artwork or renderings for the restaurant should be coming out sometime soon as well but yeah i think that's everything 
I don't think there's anything else. A lot of information in terms of Winterfest. Um, Halloween Haunt is coming to Canada's Wonderland, do not worry, and the houses will be back. It looks like Wonderland will be opening with zero restrictions at all, including masks, but uh, we'll wait for the park to make that announcement. But based off of everything we are hearing, there are going to be no restrictions on Canada's Wonderland whatsoever, including masks. Um, and I think that is all. I'm going to end this video and I'm going to regret that I missed something major. I <laughs> covered the restaurant, covered Winterfest, Halloween Haunt. Um, we are hearing that there might be some fine tune, uh, tuning to the little trick-or-treat event at Canada's Wonderland. Canada's Wonderland may see some upgrades to its current trick-or-treat offering. We saw some parks cancel their Halloween haunt and switch over to a complete just family-friendly trick-or-treat event. Wonderland is not going to do that. They're still going to host Halloween haunt, but there may be some upgrades to our trick-or-treat event as well that's done during the day. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and yeah, I think that is everything. I covered the front gate. There's some signs we're paying attention to. And yes, I know that there's some new food and eating looks like based off of what I saw on my drone today. So we'll be paying attention to that and we'll just wait for final confirmation to discuss where it's located. Um, but yeah, super exciting. Can't wait to see what Wonderland has in store for us this season and next season. Because honestly, I guarantee you when we go into the park uh, around mid-May, we'll start to see some signs. Also, stay tuned because there might be some paint jobs. Mm-hmm. Might be some paint jobs coming to Canada's Wonderland for the 2022 season. So we'll be keeping an eye on some certain things. Um, and yeah, again, super excited. Can't wait. Uh, I, it's it's honestly so close. So stay tuned to our Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, Amusement Insiders, plural, on Instagram. And stay tuned here. Anyways, follow us on TikTok as well. Because I think that's where we post the most frequently. If you're missing some of our YouTube videos, follow us on uh, TikTok as well. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.